Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. We are back at Goodwill today, continuing my birthday thrifting trip out. They did offer me a discount for my birthday, 30% off, because I do have a membership card there. So yeah, we're on to our next Goodwill. I've gone to a couple already. You guys have seen those videos. If you haven't, go ahead and go back and watch those. Look at this crock pot. I, I love the looks of these vintage crock pots. This one is pretty stove up. A lot of rusting going on, a lot of that enamel coming off. But look at the graphics. I spy with my little eye a perfect plate for my plate wall. Check this out. $2, a beautiful brown. This is a iron stone. I do like to do the stoneware more so than the iron stone. The iron stone's pretty heavy but I'll just put double supports on it. This one's just too great to leave behind. When I looked down this aisle briefly, I thought it was just plastics, which I usually don't go to that aisle, but then I saw there was some kind of mix and match like stoneware and things, so I had to check it out and make sure I wasn't gonna miss out on any 1970s stoneware plates that I could have for my own collection. There was some there, had no florals, it was just a basic with a brown outline around the rim there. But yeah, I'm going to keep digging because it is kind of, ooh, I see some more down here. Let's check these out. All right, I'm going to have to set this down. <laughs> there they are. These are great. What is the pattern on this one? Castlewood. $2 a piece on those. Sometimes when I find these, they will be pretty scratched up. That one down there had a lot of black. I don't even know what it was. It's kind of like fork scratches, but not really. I am such a sucker for these hand-painted ceramics that they did in the 70s. How fun is this one? She's pretty cute, right? I love the purple. You don't see the purple too often on decor. And she looks like she would open. She's some type of a jar, a keepsake jar, perhaps $4. I think she's pretty great. I might have to pick her up for my Etsy shop. We'll see. Ooh, this brown glass is catching my attention. $4. I like the shape of it. DC, DNC. What is DNC? I don't know what that is. What is that? I'm not really sure what that company is. I'm going to set it in the cart and think about it. I do like the shape. Little St. Patrick's up here. Look at this. It's like a decanter. I like St. Patrick's stuff. I do have Irish heritage and we always celebrate. We do a family traditional dinner each year. Genuine Porcelain 1968. This is pretty cool. It's missing the stopper. It's pretty neat though. So this is their hand pick section. So you're gonna see a little bit higher prices over here. This was kind of cool. I like the bright colors of it. It looks kind of Pennsylvania Dutch to me, maybe German. I'm not quite sure. It's really, really quite large. I was struggling to get it out. <laughs> and, oh, uh, yeah, some rusting on it. It's got, it's got some wear to it for sure. $15 they want for it. It's really, I've never seen one that large before for a tray. Um, it's interesting. Here is some Jim Shore. I was just mentioning in my last video, I thought I had found a Jim Shore and it was not. But yeah, see, this one's clearly marked and they knew what it was and it's $30. So I'm gonna have to leave that one behind today. But yeah, be on the lookout for Jim Shore if that's something, you know, if you're interested in reselling, that's a good thing to look out for. Great little Christmas goose trip at $15. I did like that. Some art glass. It's Art glass really isn't my thing. I know a lot of people are really into it. I don't really decorate with it myself. I don't I don't really understand it that much. It's pretty, but I, I don't know. I just wouldn't know where to put it in my own home. And uh, 
it's not really my thing. Everyone has their things, right? I do like this little blueberry crock though. That's awesome. And this is such a beautiful rocker. I love the wicker to it. It's only $10, great wooden detail, but it was busted right there. I don't know if there's any good way to repair that. I wouldn't know how to do it. It's a shame. I would have took that for $10 if it was like, you know, you're able to sit on it. This is so beautiful and I did not get it. I don't know why. I guess I'm just like a ding dong or something because I absolutely love this. I think it's because I saw the 1995 and it was all like inscribed and it seemed too personal. But yeah, I shouldn't have passed on that. The glass glare is such a pet peeve of mine. I do not like things in glass like that. And this is kind of cool too. It's cute. This is very beautiful. Again, with a glass, not a fan, but it's a Norman Rockwell, kind of like a still life. And uh, yeah, really great graphic, nice cottage scenery. I love that. I wanted to take you guys a little bit closer to check out the detail on this frame. Isn't that incredible? It looks like it's all hand painted. It's such a delicate touch too. That's pretty incredible to me. $13 on that. It's probably worth it for the frame alone, right? That's, that's crazy. Crazy good. It looks like they're attempting some kind of a St. Patty's end cap here. This bottle's kind of cool from Arkansas. I wonder how old this thing is. Bicentennial, I think I see on it. It's a 76. Oh yeah, okay, it's right there. So, a bicentennial piece. What is this? I don't even understand this. What would you use this for? I know it's modern, but I'm confused. Is this supposed to be a vase, maybe? I do like this. They wanted 13 for it. It's really beautiful. I'm not sure the maker on this. It's definitely old. The handles are so great on that, right? It looks very art deco. You know somebody gave this for Valentine's Day once upon a time, right? <laughs> Will you be my Valentine? It's so cute. Now this vase, I'm sure it's like totally modern, but it has a really cool shape to it, right? And when I took the flowers out, I did notice it was kind of like a flash glass. It wasn't wasn't quality, but it had a really cool shape. It was it was intriguing. I call this my tin corner. This particular Goodwill, I come to maybe three or four times a year. I always find such great vintage tins. This one here is a potpourri press. It's not labeled, but you can tell it's potpourri press for sure. They, they just have an obvious look. You see how it kind of has that glistening around the uh, where it's maroon and stuff. And I collect potpourri press tins, so that was really adorable. That was only two dollars. This one's really fun as well. I'm not really into the teddy bears, but how precious is this? It is a hallmark. It's got some cool florals going up the side. Interesting shape. Probably store some like letters or cards in that. Really adorable. And we got a blue bow goose. I was so happy. I don't ever recall seeing this particular tin before and it's hinged, which is so fun that was able to get fixed. It's just, it's just metal and it's just like bent a little weird. So it's able to get that fixed. $2 on that. So cute. Save the blue bow goose. Some nice avocado green glass. I love this. It's some grapes and leaves. I believe it's anchor hawking. I could be wrong, but I think it is. And yeah, just a cute little dish. I was getting ready to put it in my cart. I did end up finding a chip along the top. What a fakey McFakester up here. It looks so fancy, right? It's plastic, light as a feather. It's so funny. <laughs> Let's see what they have down here. Some type of a wall pocket. My sister's love. $2 on that. It looks kind of new. 
the Gettysburg trivet. It's kind of cool. Cute plate. More bells. There's always so many bells. I don't know. I always wonder if they're ever going to make a comeback. I see them all the time. What is that one thing when you go to the thrift store and you always see, no matter what thrift store you go to? I feel like bells. <laughs> bells is probably it for me. There's a couple of cutie clowns up here. They're really tall, though. $10 each, I believe, is what they had on them. See a little sign hanging out at the top here. Oh, this is awesome. Very 1970s and such a great sentiment. How beautiful. I'm glad I grabbed that. I, you know, couldn't really see what it was. Just had a hunch, I guess. Two bucks. I like that a lot. It's an interesting clock here. It's a kind of gnarly crack in it. It looks like it has been re-glued, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have snagged this for sure. I like that. The lacquer's a little weird, but I like the vibe. And look at what I found here. How cool is that? An owl-shaped tray? That's neat, right? $2. It was amongst all this really modern, like, signage. <laughs> This is a pretty cute little handmade thing, I must admit, as well. Two dollars. All right, we are back home. This is my thrift haul from this particular Goodwill from my birthday trip. And wasn't a huge haul, but I did like the things I was able to pick up. So I have some things for me. I have a few things over here that I'm going to list on Etsy. So let's go ahead and start with the Etsy stuff first. I grabbed this hand-painted jar. What I really like about this, besides it's absolutely adorable, right? The little daisy, daisies in her hair is so cute and I love the purple, but it just looking at it, if it's just sitting on a shelf, it literally just looks like a little figurine, right? Knickknack. It's kind of like a hidden jar. So most people wouldn't know. You could put your little keepsakes in there. So really fun. I do got to still try to clean this up a little bit better, but it's not bad. I took a chance on this because they did have this all taped up. I had some residue. I had to get off still. But yeah, it's no chipping. It's just a little, little bit of basic scuffing that you would normally get. It's not that big of a deal, but so fun. I thought this was so cute. I would have loved to have this in my room as a little girl. So I think this would be really fun. And you know, there's a part of me that would kind of like it now. I just don't really have the space for it, but I do really like it. It does have a little bit of paint loss here at the back with nothing too serious. And yeah, I think that was a really great find. So I will be listing this up in my Etsy. So this item, I'm not listing in my Etsy right now. I do really like it and I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to keep it, gift it, or list it. So we'll say to be continued on this one, okay? But such a fantastic piece. It says, mother to one who bears the sweetest name and adds luster to the same. Long life to her for there's no other who take the place of my dear mother. And it's so 1970s, it's like that uh, plastic kind of burwood stuff. And I love the little floral detail on it. It's a really great size too. It's just kind of the perfect size. They're asking to on that and it just has a little built-in hanger. So, so cute. <laughs> I was really happy with that. And this owl divided tray, I will be listing up in my Etsy shop. It is wooden. Really cool, right? I've never seen such a thing like this before. So I just thought that was so fun. What would you put in the little nose there? <laughs> like a wedge of cheese or something. I don't really know, but it's so adorable. And I just had to pick that up. So super fun. Now on to my keeper pile. I grabbed the Blue Bow Goose tin and just so cute. These ones almost look like ducks down here. I guess they're baby geese. Little tulips. It's so fun. I really like that. It is hinged. And yeah, I can't pass up a good Blue Bow Goose item. So I got this to add to my collection and they're asking to on that. The other tin I found in Tin Corner <laughs> was this Potpourri Press tin. I don't, is that a sailor or is it navy? 
See, I had army guys in my family. My husband had some Navy in his family, so his grandfather's in the Navy. Um, I'm not super familiar, but I, I wanna say that's Navy. Maybe he's just a sailor, I don't know. But super cute, right? I love the little purple, they're kind of like a maroony purple floral to it, and it's so cute. It has the two handles. They're asking two bucks for it, and you can tell it's potpourri press just because you see how it kind of almost, it's not glitter, but it has that very unique texture that only potpourri press has, so really fun. So add that to my potpourri press tins. And I was able to pick up a couple of plates for my 1970s floral plate wall. We got this one here. There was a little bit of a black scratch there that I doubt will come off, but I'm okay with that. I am I like the idea of rescuing these plates that people aren't really gonna use, you know, to eat out of and then just use it as a wall decor. So I think it still, still will look fantastic. And this is the heavy one. This is ironstone. So it's gonna need an extra support. I will put two hangers on it to give it a little extra security because it does have more weight than the stoneware but yeah a nice brown one there and this one's you know kind of brown based as well i guess it has a little bit different almost like a ruffly edge but this is the true stoneware that i am actually collecting and this one was the castlewood two dollars on that guy there so i'm adding him to my wall well, that is going to wrap up my Goodwill haul. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what item I picked up that was your favorite or if you saw something else in the store that you would have got today. I would love to know. Make sure you are subscribed so you can catch the next video. We're going back to Goodwill. I have a couple more birthday videos for you guys. And yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much.